Ah yes, the age old predicament of what to include in the first vlog that won't make one cringe, be it instantly or in the near future, is apparent right this second. If you assume I wrote a bunch of notes down, inexplicably forgot it all, and despite this being a voiceover, I'm already rambling like an idiot, you are 100% correct. Hi, bear with me. This is the first time I've ever done a vlog, so I'm going to drink some wine. It doesn't look very nice, but uh, I'm going to drink it anyway. Hopefully it will calm my nerves. Oh, <coughs> oh that's dreadful. My name is Reg, and this is my first vlog. I've avoided this format before because, uh, well, I sat in front of a camera before it didn't go very well at all. So, uh, that's that. Thank you. Right. Maybe I wasn't cut out for it. But, you know, through a combination of uh, boredom, unemployment and uh, the growing realisation that I'm becoming ancient and possibly not cool enough to be on the internet anymore, I've decided to do a vlog anyway. Fuck it. Who cares? So, uh, yeah, this is my very first vlog. <laughs> It took me a while to figure out what to say, obviously, because everyone's always going on about current events, sports and everything else, but I thought, fuck that, I'm not going to do that. You're going to listen to me talk about me instead. So anyway, um, I recently shaved my face. It kind of symbolises perhaps a new beginning. Well, in, in realistic actuality, is because I accidentally took a bit off my beard and then I sheared the rest of it off because it annoyed me. But let's just pretend it has some symbolic meaning just for the sake of it. Okay? Cool. Right, seeing as this is my very first vlog, I guess I could just do a getting to know you bit anyway. So, um, so here are several facts about Reg. Reg facts! One. I once wrote a memoir. It was shit. Only five people read it and it was never published. But uh, it's quite funny. It's just about me being drunk when I was younger, really. And... Yeah, that will never see the light of day. It's not online or anything, so don't bother trying to track it down because you'll be disappointed. Two. My name isn't actually Reg. It is a nickname, the origins of which I will not bore you with because it's just a waste of time. But just know that it is better than my real name and it's like a multimedia persona type thing. And plus, you know, that's where Reg Media came from. Three. Like so many others in my uh, profession, I find myself on the fringes of destitution. I'm poor, basically. This results in me having to go shop at places that I can't even pronounce the names of to buy food so mind-numbingly dull that I swear that every time I eat it, it lowers my IQ points by about 10. You know, it could be worse. I could be starving to death. Four? I am so out of touch with current affairs at times. Uh, people tell me to watch the news and occasionally I dip in and out, but as far as pop culture goes, things like uh, slut dropping, for instance, I've only just found out what that was. Unfortunately, first hand at a nightclub and it was horrific because it was, let's say the lady doing said drop was not exactly the most attractive woman on the planet. I decided to go on YouTube and see if it was actually called that because it sounds so so stupid but it turns out it's real geordie shaw was the first thing to come up so now i was experiencing the horrors that was both bright orange geordie people doing some horrid squatting on the floor he seems to be giving you the eye he's wavering is he interested is he in are you gonna lose him you know what you've got to do you know what you've got to do you got to do it slot drop there you go okay we think we've got it wide legs people <laughs> I've only just recovered. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, shit, yeah, five. I have, in the recesses of my mind, a secret so deep, dark and disturbing that if I were to utter even the first syllable, the first sentence of the secret, the ground may open up before me and swallow me into a hell dimension where I may experience the horrors of Geordie Shaw forevermore as my punishment. But luckily, I'm not going to tell you. So here's a much more pleasant video of me doing something silly instead. Well that's about all I'm willing to share right now to subject you with. You're probably bored already, this has gone on for way too long. 
Oh god, why do I keep doing this to myself? This wine, whatever it is, it's from the previously mentioned unpronounceable shop name. And it was three bottles for seven pounds. It's like Satan farted out some grapes and then Pol Pot smashed them with his foot and then Hitler distilled it or whatever you can do to wine. Not distilled, it's fermented. Is it fermented? I don't know how to make wine. Oh, I'm using hilariously outdated hardware. As you can see, this laptop is uh, older than most people's cats. Uh, the camera itself is pretty good. I guess it's a uh, Canon blah blah blah. Who's your daddy? Loads of numbers after it. But uh, you know, it's doing well. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. What, what do people say at the end of a vlog? People who are famous, they say like, uh, subscribe, please subscribe to me. But seeing this is my first ever vlog and it's probably gonna be a commercial and critical failure, don't bother subscribing, whatever, just go off, do something else. Just do something else. It's fine, you know, I'll understand. <laughs> that no one loves me. Excuse me. <laughs> right, let's wrap it up anyway. Cheers for watching if you watched. Uh, I'll cut out all these crappy bits that you won't actually see because you've already reached the end of this video. So this is invalid. Oh, shut up. This is my first time. Leave me alone. <laughs>